There's a lot of times there is a debate between degree versus skills. I've been asked this question a few times and I was contemplating over it. So my idea is that if I do not have an exam coming up, will I be able to study in that structured manner, that entire syllabus? Will I practice that much? Will I learn that much? Will I study that seriously? That is one. Second is, if I go for a job interview, let's say, will the company take an interview? Suppose I've qualified CFA, they are not going to be looking at whether I know the dividend discount model or the formula or whatever. They're going to be asking me questions like, for example, if there is a parking lot in a mall, how will you value that? They will try to see whether I can apply that knowledge or not. The knowledge has already been tested and validated by an institute, by the course, by the curriculum, by the designation. And then whether I can apply that, whether I can talk, whether I can apply common sense, etc. All those things, my technical skills, etc. That is what is going to be evaluated on the interview table. That's how I look at it. Now, the second question that comes in, there are college dropouts like Steve Jobs, etc. Who have not studied and still made it well. So now you have to see out of an average 100 people who have a good education out of 100 people who are not so educated then what is the average and how is the average performing so you have to evaluate on that basis you can't extrapolate outliers and steve jobs for example even the courses and the classes that he did not enroll for calligraphy classes etc he was attending and that's how the apple fondra he worked on that so are you studying because these guys were studying even way more than what their college was teaching them so are you putting in that kind of effort and study? So always evaluate. But yes, if say for example, you've qualified chartered accountancy, but you cannot talk in a board meeting, you cannot get work done with your colleagues, etc. You'll obviously not progress that high. If for example, you've done CFA, but you cannot write an equity research report, you'll obviously not uh, going to be doing very well. You have to have the knowledge and you have to be able to apply that knowledge also. So you can't mug up, etc. That is not going to work. Next, I get a question very often is that if I want to get into a startup or if I want to get into family business, then what should I study? First of all, you need to have a discussion in your family if you're joining a family business as to what will be the kind of role, what is the kind of business, what is the kind of skill set required? If I'm looking at understanding and managing, you know, accounts, tax, cost, audit and the entire compliances, in that case, see, if I need to understand financial decision making, which project to take, not to take, how to manage, how to take financial decisions and decision making in the company, then CFA. If I'm looking at marketing, HR, management kind of a role, in that case, I'll be looking at an MBA. Or if you need multiple skill set, then people go for multiple things together. And of course, there is obviously no mandate that you have to do XYZ in order to do good in your business. So that is up to you. So you'll have to decide.